Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel and today's video. Today we are talking a little bit of hair stuff and how to keep your hair dry or almost dry when you hit the pool. I'm gonna review a product that I actually purchased from Africa. We're gonna see if it works. Wanna know what it is? Stay tuned and let's do this. Okay, so I live in Texas, in case anybody doesn't know, and it's like 155 degrees outside. Okay, really it's like 94 with a heat index of 104. But you know, once it gets over 100, does it really matter? I don't know. Anyway, when you're going to exercise in the summertime and you don't have a gym membership, it can get really, really hot outside. And sometimes that is just unbearable to be exercising when it's already 85 degrees at seven in the morning. And then you would say, well, get up at four in the morning. Yeah, it's already 75 at four in the morning. So we have a pool. So I was going to use this summer to take up swimming. And I've been swimming laps for an hour a day for the past couple of weeks. And I'm gonna be doing that the rest of the summer weather permitting. Now, the problem is, is that you already know I have witch's broom hair that's dry. So getting into a chlorinated pool every day and getting my hair wet is not gonna be so good for it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to find a way to keep it dry and still be able to go underwater because what I'm doing right now is piling my head on top of my head in a bun and just trying not to get it wet, which, you know, kind of works, but it's not the best technique for swimming laps. So I started a search on how to find a way to keep your hair dry. And what I came across is this. It's the Swimma hair cap. And what supposedly makes this different from other hair caps is that it is actually made for African-American or African hair, which says Afro kids right on here. Um, because this is a kid's one. Now, I clearly am not a child and I don't have an Afro, clearly. But this does say that it does fit some adults. And since I don't have an Afro, I figured maybe this would be big enough for me and it definitely is. Um, it was 15 bucks and it came very fast, like less than a week. I was really surprised at how fast this came. And so what you do is, you know, you pile your hair up on top of your head in a bun, put this on and go swimming. So. I did that. Let's see if it works. Okay, I have the swimmer cap on. I think all my hair is in there and we're gonna check it out and see if my hair is dry after we go swimming. I feel like it's like a facelift right now. Hey, Zach. <laughs> definitely feel like a facelift. Um, let's see. I also feel like there was water in my ear. So yeah, it's damp. So I'm gonna say that's kind of a fail. This part is pretty dry. So for keeping the ends of your hair dry, if you put it up in a bun like this, it looks fabulous right now. Um, it does work, but... Okay, a couple things about this. This, I said was a fail in my video because it was slightly damp at the top, but it was also only slightly damp and I went way under the water for an hour. So that being the case with only one cap on my head, it definitely helped if I was gonna go underwater. So what I've been doing is staying above water for two days and then on the third day when I'm gonna wash my hair, I use this and go under and it still keeps it relatively dry. So I actually really like this. I give it a thumbs up, even though it doesn't work 100%, um, doesn't work 100%, but it's better than any other swim cap I've ever used. So we'll give it that. Also, there's a couple other methods that I found out that I thought I'd pass along. There is the standard one that everybody says where it says get your hair all wet and then douse it with a whole bunch of conditioner and then get in the pool. And the idea behind that is that you're going to absorb less chlorine because your hair has already been saturated and absorbed 
all of that it can absorb and technically it's not going to absorb a lot of the chlorine it still will a little bit but it's definitely a help the other thing that i found online is taking a regular cap like this putting it on your head then putting a shower cap over the top of that then putting on a headband that goes all the way around like a fabric one that goes all the way around and then another cap on top of that and that will keep your hair completely dry now that's a lot of steps and that's also going to give you a facelift because it's going to be so so tight this one is super tight and it actually was pressing down on me where i looked like i was frowning the whole time and it was like bunching up my forehead and i thought oh this is going to create forehead wrinkles <laughs> yay for that no i don't want that so then i kept trying to pull it back up to where it was like pulling back rather than pushing down and i was mildly successful so you know the idea of wearing these things just just you know you're either going to get a headache or you're going to you know squash your head and implode it you know but your hair will be dry so you know pick your poison but i actually do like this and i will continue to use it it didn't reach 100 percent of my expectations but it's definitely better than nothing and i think better than dousing your head with a bunch of conditioner now you could do both you could get your head wet put conditioner on it and then put this on and it would probably be the best case scenario without doing the three cap version but if you're wanting to mostly keep your hair dry or at least half dry give this a shot i'll have the link below it's not sponsored i don't get anything from it um, but this is something you might want to check out otherwise that is it for today's video i hope that you found this and helpful if you did please give it a thumbs up and if i have earned your subscription button please hit that red button and the bell and that will keep you informed on every video i post which happens every tuesday and thursday otherwise i hope you're having a great day stay inspired and i'll see you in the next video see ya